sup, sup, my loved ones. So, as you can see, we're about to get a karmic read. I want to see what's going on. Make sure we're clearing up these karmic cycles. Make sure that everything is, you know, good for us. All right? Because just because we hear the word karmic doesn't mean that, you know, you're a karmic. It means that there's something for us to learn and we haven't gotten the point just yet. So, we're going to do a quick check-in. Make sure everybody's doing well on this beautiful day. I love rainy days, personally. It's one of my favorites. Cleansing, crying, snacks, food, video games. Or snowy day, you feel me? Anywho, praise the most high for having us here. Don't forget, highly flavored, blessed, you already know, and no weapon formed shall prosper. All right, so now that that's out the way, let's move forward, okay? Let's move forward. Let's see what's good and what's going on in the ether. I just, before we do that, I just want to say, I truly am highly favored and blessed, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. So, let's move forward. Anyway, we're going to see what's good and going on in the ethers. We're going to see what's up with these karmics, the Karmic Tales 3 deck. If you want to check it out, um, I believe it's on her Etsy shop, but your inner chakra, chakras, you'll find it here on YouTube, and um, you can grab the deck yourself. Anywho, let's get to it. Let's see what's going on with us in, in these karmic situations or, uh, yeah, whatever's going on, okay? All right, so, boop, boop, boop. okay, so somebody may be feeling a bit confused and conflicted it's looking like i want to say this is you that's not giving any love to this energy all right and they're just like kind of taken aback honestly like why why are you not giving me your time and attention uh, it seems to be that you've actually walked away from the situation and maybe they haven't exactly grasped that concept just yet all right so uh let's keep going let's see what's going on with this karmic cycle we're checking in on so it looks like you're definitely standing in your power good which we need to do, all right? You feel me? Don't forget, alphas, alpha. Wait, let's, 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 how do I say this? Um, alphas can recognize an alpha without speaking. All right, so alpha, an alpha can recognize your boundaries without speaking. An alpha can recognize um, what's gonna make you comfortable without making you uncomfortable. You feel me? We can kind of uh, scope the scene, and with a sco this Mercury retrograde is killing me, bro. I, I just wanted to point that out. It is killing me, but. We tend to scan the scene, scope the scene out, and with that, we're able to put together a picture. This is usually when the swords come in, you know, you start analyzing, oh, okay, I'm noticing this, that, and the third, blah, 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 and put together a picture for us. Call it discernment, call it intuition, call it both. Nonetheless, gifts. All right, let's go. Okay, so it's looking like, okay, so this particular energy is leaving a an emotionally one-sided relationship. As you can see, apparently she was choosing a bunch of emotionally unavailable people because she had some trauma she wasn't healing from in the past. All right, but it looks like she's definitely standing her power and walking away from that. All right, maybe her type was a type that was a little bit out of control. Okay, but at this time, everything's in control when you trust in the universe. So we ain't got to worry about none of that. All right, so we're going to leave this alone. We left this in the hands of the most high, at least this wonderful divine feminine has. Let's get some tarot to see what's good. All right. Somebody hasn't said anything, but they've gone through some sort of enlightenment. Somebody's going through some sort of enlightenment. And I don't think it's this divine feminine. Let's keep moving. All right. As I said, I didn't think it was your energy. I believe with you standing in your power, what you did was you triggered your divine masculine into enlightenment, into walking to the light, all right? So now it seems that with you standing in your power, not only are they triggered, not only are they in a very loving heart space, they really want to come forward and bring something to the table, all right? I want to say that it wasn't you that was guarded from these past issues. It was them because of things that they've experienced. And unfortunately, you were the punching bag to this particular King of Cups. But I don't I don't think he recognized that until you stood in your power and walked away. I don't I believe that might have been the tower moment for him when he realized nobody's ever dismissed 
what is that? You feel me? So completely taken aback. Or it's the Mercury Metro Mercury retrograde that's affecting us. What do we got here? As I said, he went through enlightenment. Now he hasn't spoken on this. He hasn't said anything, but he's realizing and seeing things now, right? He's going through that deep spiritual awakening where nothing makes sense. Everything's scattered. Everything is hectic. Can you really believe this right now? But he's keeping it calm, cool to himself. And that's honestly extremely impressive for a king of cups. I'm just saying. That, uh -uh. All right, so he, I see nine cups on the table. All right, some with the king of cups on the, on the bottom of the deck. Um, nine cups on the table. It looks like he wants to give this divine feminine her 10th cup. All right, so he's not so much, he's in, yeah, he's in a very loving space. He's in a very emotionally fulfilled space. He's all about his emotions right now. Not so much about that primal energy, which is wonderful and needed at one point in time. But right now it's about the emotions. All right, the emotional intelligence, the emotional capacity. King of Cups has a huge emotional capacity. Okay, so apparently... He's made a final decision on where and what his Ten of Cups is. Looks like there may be a third party situation in the mix. Interesting. So I'm thinking that he may have called judgment on this third party situation because he's recognizing and realizing what his Ten of Cups, not whom, what his Ten of Cups is. Because if you don't have a picture, if you don't have, I literally just heard the word from Shantia. Uh, anywho, it was, she made a very great point. And if you don't have a vision of something, how do you know what you're working for? One of my favorite quotes I say to my clients is gold. All right. I'm gold. You feel me? You're gold. We grew up coming from families of gold. So we don't know how to recognize us, identify us from a mile away, whether we're pressurized, we're in the raw state, whatever state this is, you feel me? We can get everything together and working because that's who we are now. 95% of the rest of the world, they're not gold. Aside from them not being gold, they've never even had the idea that one day they'll have such a precious, valuable metal. So with that, they've never even fathomed the work, the diligence, the effort, the capacity of all of that to maintain such a precious gift, right? Boom, right there, you feel me? That's all I wanted to say. Let's go. Okay, so we see the nine of pentacles in the house. I see success. I can spare be like, yo, that was great delivery. I love it. You feel me? Nonetheless, I see success. I see a nine of pentacles, a nine of cups. I see two single energies. All right. It's looking like they're both single. I'm just waiting for an opportunity to come forward. Okay. I would like a little bit of insight on this judgment three of swords combination. King of Swords. Oh, excuse me. Boom. Never mind. My bad. Okay, so what goes on here is the final decision is the Queen of Pentacles. I want to give to her. Very warm. Okay, that's where the offer is going. I'm not sure who the King of Swords is, but I want to say there's a family situation involved. That may, be have, that may be left out in the cold. Maybe he's not speaking to this about his family. But it looks like he's, he's... I don't think he's telling his family that he's walking away from something or someone. Is that true? Is that accurate? I don't... Yeah, he's giving up something with the five of swords, it seems. Okay. So that he can come forward and quietly work over here. With hit the one who captured his heart. Two of swords. Okay, so you guys, there's no there's no communication between these two right here. No communication. Let's keep going. So king of swords, five of swords. Let's get some more on that. Four. So he's taking some time to heal up and rest before he uh, sends this message, it seems, or, you know, presents himself or whatever this may be. Very good. No idea what that is. Oh. Mm, so he's determined Okay, that's coming on the table, bad boy. You're coming on the table. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, it's coming on the table. All right. The Emperor is making a return to his divine feminine. 
I'm not sure if that's confidently or his his divine feminine is super attractive. I'm not sure what that's about, but um, we're gonna clarify that really quick, okay? Okay. All right. Let's see who this. Uh, oh. Okay. Seven of Swords, bottom of the deck. Let's see who this Queen of Wands is. Yep, we okay. So they're very much attracted to their Empress. All right, they're very much determined to have the success with their Empress to seize this opportunity with their Empress. It looks like this energy has stepped up into their divine masculine by taking charge of whatever the situation is and moving towards the woman who's captured his heart. All right, Page of Swords still. Watching from a distance, watching her work from a distance, or watching from a distance, waiting to work on a situation because it's all about delays, right? So, yeah. uh, he's definitely in her energy, bro. Definitely in her energy, sitting back, meditating, thinking about things. All right, so here we go from the eight pentacles to the nine pentacles. Success over here, giving to this queen of pentacles. I like it, bro. I like it. Let's go. Don't judge my life, yo. So we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice. So slow and steady wins the race. And it looks like this has been moving very slow, but these scales are about to finally be balanced. Looks like whatever this energy needed to do, close up on his end. He's surrendering. He's completely letting it go. And if I'm not mistaken, he's walking away from something he's already invested in. If, if not, he's not telling his family about the situation with the Ten of Cups and moving towards his actual Ten of Cups. Let's see if I get an Ace of Swords on that. Ace of Swords, please. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit more to talk about. Okay, so apparently uh, he's having some anxiety and fears. Um, he's not sure if he's going to choose him or to close out the cycle and keep it closed. All right. He's coming back around with the lovey-dovey energy, but at the end of the day, it's free will, all right? It's definitely free will. So that's leaving him a bit stuck in his head right now. All right? Questioning if he wants to move in on this uh, blessing. The blessing being the queen of wands, the empress. He better go and invest in that woman. He better stop playing. You know what? I'm done with this reading. This was a dope read. This was a short read. We're going to leave this one right here. I was going to get into it, but we're not getting into it. This guy, he's playing too many games. I hope you guys enjoyed the read. Honestly, this is kind of cute energy. He's It's more mental than anything. Um, he just has to get over the fear, but there's nothing to fear but fear itself. You feel me? To catch your pants before they fall. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So you feel me? Looking straight in the eye. See Aries on the board, you feel me? That's what we do. We face everything head on. Let's steal a little bit of our energy and go get it. You feel me? Um, this is what we do, especially when you have a divine feminine. Understand. Lots of kings, knights, and pages will be attempting to get this Empress's energy. So, and she's a queen of wands. Very attractive, very assertive, very dominating. Every masculine energy wants a rather soft, aggressive, feminine. Just soft aggressive you feel me but knowing when and how to do it you feel me some divine feminines the way they you know what we ain't gotta get into it may i get into it okay but love is a very powerful thing all right and love honestly is corny but love can and will conquer all right self-love is the best love remember that so we're gonna leave this one right here praise to the most high hope you guys enjoy this reading hope these two get it together love and light to these two love and light to you Hope you have a great day, and um, let's go get some snacks. It's a rainy day. Let's go. Turn up. We out.